Hello babes, so welcome back to my channel. I did post my very first video from when I came back in the new year, so make sure you guys check that out. It was kind of my Black Friday sale, everything that I got kind of on sale during the holidays. Today is my first grocery haul of 2020 with you guys, and I know you guys love grocery hauls, um, but there's definitely something I need to mention. So, still kind of like recovering from a flu or whatever I had in New York. But it was so weird while I was in New York trying to find a grocery store. I was like, do you guys have like grocery stores like we do here in Canada? Like the big, like, um, what do you call them? Like the chain grocery stores? Like we have all these like big chain names. I would assume like in more Jersey, you guys would have those big grocery stores. But let me know and yeah, where I was in New York or just maybe New York in general Maybe that was the problem like maybe there they don't have these big grocery stores But I did go to Whole Foods and I was like, oh my god a grocery store a real Real grocery store with like lots of aisles give me some names and stuff so that when I go back um, I can look out for them travel to New York if you guys don't know for like right 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 after the holidays I went on boxing day, which for us is the 26th and I really have just always Always wanted to go there for the holidays to see the Rockefeller Center the tree of course Just the vibe there around the holidays and the Christmas time is just it feels like Christmas is not over when Christmas is over in New York, but here it like it feels like it's over. Um, I'm doing a what I eat a day for you guys, a brand new one that I'm so excited about. I have my little tripod, which I get questions about. I can link this for you guys. This guy is what I use when I'm like literally like, hey guys, <laughs> this is what I use. Or when I go to the grocery store, I like to stick this in my purse. As you guys know, 2020 is Brand new year, brand new chance, and I feel like when it comes to like health and fitness, number one, obviously I wanna do healthy, more healthy groceries. Like when I go to the store, I wanna be more mindful and I wanna include more healthy things. I do pretty well with my groceries. I already shop pretty healthy, but I think I can try new things and I think that I can be even more healthy. I told you guys like late last year that I got back to my weight loss and everything and while I was in New York I could not stop thinking about the gym. I'm like I just want to get back to the gym. What has really like helped me out is knowing what you're going to do at the gym. Lower your expectations a little bit. You know what I mean? Or even maybe depending on your personality lower them a lot. <laughs> Why are you overwhelmed? Because you're just literally going to the gym and doing a 40 minute to like 45 minutes to an hour workout. Like what? what is overwhelming about that, you know? And then I realized it's me. I'm overwhelming myself. That's what's going on. I think I knew it in the back of my mind, but it's like, I just am so hard on myself and I just push, 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 push myself to a point where it's like, it's too much and set smaller goals. For me, I was like, you have to do an hour workout. Like literally, this is how I would talk to myself. I'm like, you have to do an hour workout. You have to lift heavy weights. You cannot take breaks in between. And I'm like, are you a sergeant or something? Like, are you, like, are we a boot camp or something like that? Like, you need to make it super realistic. And that is what's gonna make you keep going back unless you like sergeant mentality. You feel like because it's a new year, there's like this pressure to give back to things. My advice is go super slow. If you feel like you're not able to guide yourself, you might need something to help you out and that's fine. And as you guys know, there's like so many apps that you guys can use out there that have so many different workouts, but the one that I've been really liking is 30 Day Fitness. They are sponsoring this video, so thank you, 30 Day Fitness. So I'll show you guys what you get with them. You set up like your profile with them, and then if you go to your fitness plan, this is my favorite part, obviously. You get to put in um, the difficulty. So again, if it's like, if they're going too easy on you, you can make it harder. If it's too hard, you can go lower. Start with small goals. If you wanna just start by being a little bit more active, that's the first option that they have, which I love that they even have that option. It's gain muscle and there's lose weight which is what your girl is on <laughs> watch yourself we try to look really cute the number of workouts per week what I have it on is number two so that I can just kind of get into things since I've been off for a little bit if I feel like I can get to three great they let you do as low as 10 minutes you guys like that is something see now I just thought to myself I'm like okay so you can do a 10 minute workout three times a week or four times a week because it's only 10 minutes of your day okay 30 day like 
they just make me go from two to three but anyways i love it i love it we all love a skinny queen it's just really good to look back and see a physical number of how much work you've put into your weight loss journey and there's also a section called library so you guys can look up all these different workouts like there's all these challenges that you guys can do there's just so many different things your workouts are all there they show you how to do them you guys can download it down below in my description box and my recommendation you guys is take photos in between take a photo of your body if this is like your first day getting into it take pictures of your body because when you look back oh my god it is so exciting i lost all my photos because something happened to me in my first trip to new york and everything got erased you guys so i really like i can't get those pictures back so those things are gonna push you um, but yeah, I just I really think the app is amazing for people who really need like a kickstart I know that they also have a trial where you guys can see if it's for you or not If you guys do want to try them out again, don't forget to download them using my link down below in the description box <laughs> Guys my fridge is Empty, okay, this was me struggling because I had to find something to eat so I found these little like um, Pizza non bread things. Well, they're non bread, but I turned them into like this pizza rounds and i just made pizza so that's why that's there i actually need to add uh, butter to my list and my breads one of them is like kind of running out and the honest wellness is not necessarily running out and i got that like fairly close to when i was leaving so that one's fine on the side over here you guys can tell i am eggless i'm eggless you guys and my milk and my creamer by the way if you guys are new to my channel um welcome to the channel we are so close to 100k like we're getting closer and closer and closer guys we really really are so make sure you guys subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up and also follow me on ig which is at step Masato. and if you guys want to get notified for all of my brand new videos because you just love them like just just so much so seriously if you guys love my videos make sure you guys click that little bell right beside the subscribe button you guys will get notified every single time i post a brand new video so let's go fill up this fridge <laughs> Avocado babies. Baby carrots, y'all. I'm making a soup, so that's why. Okay, now we need potatoes because I'm making a chorizo soup. Oh, golden. Like these. Okay, I just got a bunch of stuff for like a Greek salad, so I need some feta now. All right, y'all. Let's go find the almond milk. <laughs> I know where it is. Hey, this is where they have my collagen powder. Where is it? Okay, seriously? Okay, I have to get this one because the Earth Zone, I don't see the unsweetened original one. This is my favorite creamer, you guys. The Silk Almond, the Hazelnut. It's so good. I think I might grab two. Okay, next is eggs. I like to get organic. Always check if your eggs are cracked, you guys. That could be good. Oh. We're good. Okay, we're gonna try yogurt, y'all. I'm gonna try this one. It's non-dairy. I'm gonna make like a yogurt kind of parfait dish. I'm not really a yogurt fan, but it's been like intriguing me. I've never tried this out before by Kashi. It's just a cereal. Instead of buying like granola, I feel like this will have more flavor. Honestly, guys, every time I pass by the clothing section of Joe Fresh, it just kills me. Like, look at those sweatpants. They're so soft. And this feels like the sweater I'm literally wearing right now. But, like, no, get me out of here. Why do they put this here? Look, guys, this is what happens when I go grocery shopping. This is the black one that I have. And then they have this one. Like, it's only one left. Like, it's on sale. Like, do I take it? <laughs> I turn the corner and I see these. Like, Joe Fresh, stop making cute stuff. They are so freaking cute. They're so soft. Oh my god. I'm in my sunglasses, guys. This is the do not bother me swag. <laughs> Don't talk to me swag. Um, I've been wanting this robe from them for like the longest time, but it was like regular $30. So it's like for 20 now and I kind of want to replace my white one because it's kind of oversized But guys, I think I'm gonna get it. It is just gorge. I ended up getting the robe 
and the sweatpants. Um, I got some romaine lettuce hearts because I want to make some Greek salads. I got some collard greens because I want to do that chorizo um, soup, that kind of green soup. I did it in New York, but I used spinach instead. But traditionally, that soup for us is called called vert, and we use um, collard greens to make it. This time, I'm actually using the spicy Italian sausages that are veggie this time, so that I'm not using any meat. I like to get these guys when I want to kind of get a little bit of a break from meat, but I've been kind of doing that a little bit. I got some more sriracha because I like to use this in my pho, and it's literally at the bottom, and I've had it for like ever. I ran out of my garlic. Can you guys believe it? Well, yeah, yeah, you can't believe it because I just dumped garlic into my food. But I got this instead. I couldn't find that tub, but then I realized that I got it from Costco. So I got this instead. It's garlic paste, and it just has garlic and a little bit of salt in it. So I'm going to try this out, and I might even make a garlic sauce on my own. Like, I'm super excited about that. Um, got some carrots. I do like to put some carrots inside this soup, even though it doesn't traditionally take that. Then these bacon rounds are my favorite. They're perfect for putting them inside of like breakfast sandwiches. And I'll be having them with my avocados. If I want to have the avocado the next day, I get one that's a little bit soft and starting to get ripe. Um, there's one of these, like this one is not, it's going to take, this one's going to take about two days. Some mini cucumbers for my Greek salad, which I love. Um, two organic bananas. I don't like to get a lot because they just go bad and I don't really have a lot of fruit. So I like to be realistic. This I'm actually going to try out. So I like to try different um, natural deodorants. The one that I use every day is by Schmitz and it's the rose one. And I've been kind of like eyeing this one and seeing if I really want to use it. But I was like, you know what, just test it out and see. So I like the native one. I use the, I think, rose and vanilla or coconut in rose or something like that. Um, so I like the native and the Schmitz. A lot of other natural ones do not last. Um, this one's more of like a powdery scent. It's called uh, Powder Clean. And also from Live Clean, I really like this brand because I have the I have their bubble bath um, liquid in my bathtub. And they also have body wash. But this one is body lotion. I was actually looking for a hand lotion. But honestly, I use like body lotion for hand lotion sometimes. And this one is argan oil. So it smells really good. It has that kind of like tropical-y sort of scent to it. I showed you guys this is my absolute favorite creamer so I got two of them and then I got some feta I like to get the one that is crumbled this one is goat feta and I like to put it over top of my Ooh, I can get a phone call and I got some cherry tomatoes this is also for my Greek salads as well and this I'm super excited so I've actually been wanting to do like a yogurt parfait um, with like granola and fruit and stuff like that, which is so not me because I'm not a yogurt fan you guys But I do like to give things a shot. So I've never tried like a yogurt parfait before contains live non-dairy Bacterial culture so which is really good for like gut health, which is what I need I'm kind of excited to try that out because I want to see if I'm actually going to like like these yogurt little dishes that I see all over the place that look so super cute. Um, fill up my whole earth stevia. This is the one from Starbucks that they use. That's my favorite if you're new. And this one is no sugar added, 100% natural, no pulp orange juice. This is the one that I like to buy. Then I got some AAA batteries by PC. These were like $2.78. This is for my facial um, razor that I like to use when I have like a little bit of facial hair on the sides or anything. And then I got these golden potatoes. So I only like to use yellow potatoes because they're a little bit sweeter. They're a lot softer and they're just more easy to cook. And this is going to be used for our chorizo soup. I'm so excited with my new robe and I'm gonna like literally go switch it up right now. My white one has like stains on it and I've bleached it. I've done everything and it like just has not come off. I forgot to show you guys the butter that I got. So this is the one that I got by Melt. I've never bought this one before but this one is plant-based butter. The one that I have is vegan by Basel. But I decided to get this one. It's a lot smaller. The other one that I have takes up so much room in my fridge and it's like really bulky. This looks a lot better, guys. <laughs> All my stuff back to normal. Why did I do this again? I guess because I'm used to something else being here. That looks better. Have my milk, my orange juice, my yogurt I'm going to be trying, my new butter. I like to put my avocados up here and all my other kind of veggies. I like to put greens down here. Um, my bacon for tomorrow that I'm going to be doing. 
fridge is all replenished. I don't like to overflow my fridge because don't forget I am the only person here so it makes no sense and things go bad and stuff. So I like to buy for the week or what's up and coming so that I'm not wasting food. I'm really excited to try out that new deodorant. The first grocery haul of 2020, there's more to come. If you guys wanna see more of these hauls, let me know down below if you guys wanna grocery shop with me more. And don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and also don't forget to follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo, and sign up for notifications if you guys want to be a part of my notification squad and get dinged every single time I post a brand new video. I have to film two videos for you guys today, so I am doing a what I eat in a day, like in between all of this. Um, more clothing hauls, more what I eat in a days, um, just more vlogs in general. My new closet is getting installed at the end of this month. I'm so excited. So I'm going to vlog what it looks like now and I'm getting a whole new closet that's going in my den area because it's completely empty. Don't forget guys to check out the 30 day fitness app if you guys are interested in something that's going to motivate you and kind of get you started with your workouts. I'm really excited to get back tomorrow. Leave some love down below. Let me know your thoughts and I love you guys and I can't wait for all the 2020 videos and to reach 100k finally. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.